हेलो एंड वेलकम अगेन टू मृगवेट्स लर्निंग आई एम संजय शर्मा योर लर्निंग फैसिलिटेटर इन द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस पोस्टेड टू दिस चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ द अ डेट विथ प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज यू लर्न अबाउट असाइनमेंट एंड अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स इन एडिशन टू द अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेशन यू यूज वेरियस ऑपरेटर्स टू कंपेयर डेटा इन अ प्रोग्राम एंड प्रेजेंट डेटा आफ्टर अप्रोप्रिएट मेन्यूपुलेशन इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट using the relational operators and using the logical operators in a program when manipulating and presenting data in a comprehensive format you might need to make some comparison among available data or against some organizational standards to make such comparison most of the programming languages support the traditional set of relational operators these operators are binary operators and require two operands these operators compare data with relation to a set standard and give a value which is either true or false when the computer evaluates such operators it gives a non zero mostly one or zero value which the programming languages translates to true and false values respectively such values are also known as boolean values equality is one of the relational operators that you use to check if the two values are equal Most of the programming languages support double equal to or also pronounced as equal to equal to sign to check for equality. However, some of the languages such as Python, Perl and shell scripts in Unix support EQ as the relational operator to check for equality. When used, the computer compares the values of two operands and gives true if the values are equal and false if otherwise. Remember not to confuse the equality operator with the assignment operator where the equality operator compares the values of two operands the assignment operator assigns the value of the right hand side operand to the left hand side operand not equal to is another relational operator that you use to check if the two values are not equal most of the programming languages support the exclamation equal to sign to compare the values of two operands however Some of the languages such as Python, Perl and shell scripts in Unix support NE as the relational operator to check for inequality. Additionally, SQL language support exclamation equal to as well as less than greater than signs as the not equal to operator. As against equality when used, the computer compares the values of two operands and gives true if the values are not equal and false if otherwise. greater than is another relational operator that you use to check if one value is greater than the other one most of the programming languages support the greater than sign to compare the values of two operands however some of the languages such as python perl and shell scripts in unix support gt as the relational operator to compare the two values when used the computer compares the values of the two operands and gives true if the value of the left hand side operand is greater than the value of the right hand side operand and false if otherwise less than is another operator that you use to check if one value is less than the other one most of the programming languages support the less than sign to compare the values of two operands however some of the languages such as python perl and shell scripts in unix support lt as the relational operator to compare the two values when used the computer compares the values of the two operands and gives true if the value of the left hand side operand is less than the value of the right hand side operand and false if otherwise comparing a value of the left hand side operand to be greater than or less than the value of the right hand side operand excludes the value of the left hand side operand from being evaluated as a true value however at times you might need to include the value 2 to be included as a true value to address this you can use a greater than equal to and less than equal to signs to check if the value is greater than or equal to and less than or equal to the other value respectively this means that even if the values of two operands are equal the computer evaluates and gives true as a result only if the value of the left hand side operand is less than in case of greater than or equal to or greater than in case of less than or equal to operators the result is false some of the languages such as python perl and shell scripts in unix support ge and le as the relational operators instead of 
greater than equal to and less than equal to signs it is not always that you compare only a single set of operands many a times you need to compare multiple values to arrive to a conclusion logical operators help you to compare more than one set of values at the same time similar to arithmetic operators and relational operators logical operators are again binary operators and need two operands however in case of logical operators both the operands should evaluate to a boolean value after evaluating the operands these operators give a boolean value this means that logical operators take a boolean value as an input and give a boolean value as an output as a result these operators are also known as boolean operators even though you can use an operand that evaluates to a boolean value you generally use an expression using relational operators as an operand for this operators and is one of the logical operators that is supported across programming languages even though it is used with different notations such as double ampersand or ampersand ampersand symbols in c++ and java and as and in python and database supporting sql language and in addition to ampersand ampersand symbols hyphen a in shell script the basic functionality remains the same when you use the and operator its output is true only when both the operands evaluate to a true value even if one of the operands evaluates to false the output of the and operator is false when evaluating the and operator the left hand side operand is evaluated first the right hand side operand is evaluated only if the left hand side operand evaluates to true else the and operator gives false as an output now if the right hand side operand also evaluates to true then the operator gives true as an output and false if otherwise or is another logical operator that is supported across programming languages similar to the and operator it is used with different notations such as double pipe symbols in c++ and java as or in python and databases supporting sql language and in addition to double pipe symbols hyphen o in shell script the basic functionality remains the same when you use the or operator its value is true even if one of the operands evaluates to a true value the output of the operator is false only if both the operands evaluate to false when evaluating the or operator the left hand side operand is evaluated first if the operand evaluates to true the operator gives true as an output without evaluating the right hand side operand the right hand side operand is evaluated only if the left hand side operand evaluates to false now if the right hand side operand also evaluates to false the or operator gives false as an output not is yet another logical operator that is supported across programming languages most of the programming languages support the exclamation symbol as the logical not operator unlike other two logical operators the not operator is a unary operator that requires only one operand when you use the not operator it negates the value of the operand if the operand evaluates to true it gives false as an output and true if otherwise you might think that you can use an appropriate operator such as greater than or less than instead of using the not operator well at times you might need to check if a resource such as a file on a computer or a website is existing or not in such a case you can use the not operator instead of using a relational operator When you use multiple logical operators the evaluation of the operators takes place from the left hand side towards the right hand side of the operator in case of an and operator as soon as the first operand evaluates to true the second operand is evaluated however in case of multiple operators the entire right hand side of the and operator should evaluate to true as a single operand Therefore each operand is evaluated step by step and only if the entire right hand side operand evaluates to true the operator gives true as an output for example in the expression displayed i am representing true evaluation with green color and false with red color here the a is greater than b expression is evaluated first if this is true then the control moves to the right hand side of the and operator here the c is less than d expression is evaluated if this is true 
the OR operator gives a true value because even if one of the operands is true, it gives true as an output. As a result, the right hand side of the AND operator becomes true and it gives a true value. However, if the C is less than D expression evaluates to false, the control moves to the right hand side of the OR operator. Now, if E is greater than F expression evaluates to false, the AND operator gives false as an output. Now that both the operands of the OR operator evaluates to false, the OR operator gives false as an output, which makes the entire right hand side of the first AND operator as false. As a result, the AND operator gives false as an output. However, if E is greater than F expression evaluates to true, the G is greater than H expression is evaluated. If it is true, the AND operator gives true as an output, which makes the entire right hand side of the OR operator as true. As a result, the OR operator gives true as an output. And finally, the entire right hand side of the AND operator evaluates to true. This makes the AND operator to give true value as an output. Finally, if the G is greater than H expression evaluates to false, the AND operator gives false, which makes the OR operator to give false, and ultimately, AND operator also gives false value as an output. Remember that, if you replace the OR operator with the AND operator, all the operands must evaluate to true before you can get the true value from the expression. Even if there is a single operand that evaluates to false, the entire expression gives false as a value. In this statement, you can override the evaluation by using brackets. For example, if the statement should give true as an output, either if A is greater than B as well as C is less than D or E is greater than F as well as G is greater than H, then you can enclose both the sides of the OR operator in brackets. In this video, you learned about using the relational operators and using the logical operators. In the next video, you will learn about using the conditional operator in pseudocode. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it, especially for you. If so, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, Let's Simplify Computers with MIGWATS Learning. Clicking notification, the bell icon will notify you about my new videos.